We want to thank Learning Resources for sending us coding critters. We just love Rumble and Bumble and Ranger and Zip. Coding critters are your first coding friends. They each come with their own little pet. So there's Ranger, and this is Zip. And he can play in his little playground. It includes a doggy house with a doggy bone that you could feed to him. And his little friend Zip can go down what? Can you say slide? Look, he goes down the... Can you say slide? Whee! Uh-oh. We have a little rascal here, and this is <laughs> this is Rumble, and this is Bumble. Rumble and Bumble are what kind of dinosaurs? Do you know? It's a Stegosaurus. And look, when Rumble yeah. goes up to Bumble, yeah. they connect to each other. Yeah. yeah. But when Zip and Bumble go next to each other, look, it's a doggy. Yeah. But look, look at Zip and Bumble. Look what happens. <gasps> uh oh. Bumble doesn't like Zip. Look, repel from each other. Does Zip go with Ranger? Oh, they do! Yay! Coding critters come with a bunch of cool accessories. Like we got a volcano with a boulder. Yay! And we have a slide. More rocks and cute little accessories. You can make Rumble do fun things by coding what you wanted to do. Each of the coding critters comes with their own storybook and what you do is you could place commands down on the floor to help kids do the next step. Like this would be backwards, this would be forwards and they're all coded by what kind of animal they are. There's one more coding critter and it's Scamper and Scamper is actually a cat and Scamper also comes with a little mouse. So we have two sets of coding critters we have Rumble and Bumble and Ranger and Zip. You can go through the storybook to follow the instructions or you can create your own story. Rumble wants this bone. How are we gonna get him to get it? You can put directional tiles down to direct Rumble where to go or you can just create your own. It's easier for kids to have these directional tiles so when they place it down, they know where Ranger's going and how to write the code. So we want Ranger to go through the tunnel. Hopefully he doesn't knock it down. So we're gonna put one tile here and another tile here. They're about four inches in length. Here we go. Forward, forward, and then you press the middle button to activate. Whoa! He went right near it, but we have to get him to knock it down. Now let's add this directional tile. Maybe he can knock down the cave and then he can get his bone. He did it! Now you can get your bone. Here you go, Rumble. Now we can make Rumble meet his friend Bumble at the bottom of the slide. Yay! In play mode, you could have them dance. All you have to do is just press this button to change the mode. This is Ranger. Ranger. He loves, yeah, Ranger. Ranger. He loves to start Ranger. his day by playing with his big ball. Ranger. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The ball rolled away. We have to try to get him to get it. Maybe his little friend Zip can help him. Look, Zip is in the doghouse. Let's have R Ranger go get Zip. 
Here he goes. Uh-oh. Ranger just asked Zip to help him find his ball. Want a Nana? There's the ball. Look, you gotta play with the ball now. The ball's on top of the seesaw. All right, come on, let's get it. We want to thank Learning Resources for sending us coding critters. We just love Rumble and Bumble and Ranger and Zip. Aren't they so much fun to play with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.